Rick and Chuck here from Canada's National Firearms Association. We're here today at the Furlong Marksmanship Academy. We're here with Rob Furlong himself. Rob, can you give us a bit of a heads up of what's going on here? So we're just about to start uh, day three of our precision rifle program of uh, precision rifle level one. So today we're going to actually get our students out shooting on steel, up to a thousand meters. One of the big things we want today is to ensure all the students are able to do their own wing calls, be able to send accurate fire down range. Our whole goal is to make sure that everybody's getting that first, maybe second round hits on the target. It's all about accuracy. Uh, Rob, what we've done so far is amazing. Chuck and I have been here for two days. We learned so much. We've been shooting for a long time and you wouldn't believe the bad habits we brought here. But Rob's getting them straightened out and we're gonna have a great time. I suggest to anybody that can come out here and take one of Rob's classes, come out and take a class. You'll learn so much, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's a, actually a three-tier thing. Could you explain uh, the, the program, Rob? So yeah, we, we offer a, a marksmanship program and our marksmanship program is truly a 130-hour program. Uh, broken down to three delivery dates. It's uh, 100, now like you said, 130 hours from level one, level two, and level three. Um, instead of having somebody come down for you know, the, the whole 11 days, we've just broken up the three delivery dates. Yeah. What I was impressed with is like you, you're here and you do like most of the lecture. You, you've gathered like a, a, an incredible team. Like all your guys here, like a. It shows they have a lot of experience, like online experience, and like yeah. they, they've been like so great to us, like one-on-one -on -one and correcting us on what we're doing. So like, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, big shout out to Rob's yeah. team. They're an amazing bunch of guys. They bring a vast amount of knowledge and in, all into one room. It's just, it's, it's, it's overwhelming how much knowledge is in one room here. And big thanks to uh, KDEX. I mean, K KDEX, like uh, with the rifle, like it's, it's the best rifle you can get on the market, like best precision rifle, and like these guns like are amazing. Like we had the chance to shoot them. That's what we're shooting, me and Rick, and like they're they're amazing. Like yeah. I, I cannot say enough good words about KDEX. Yeah, they shoot themselves pretty much. Yeah, That's right. I was just yeah. gonna say that you get you get, behi you get behind one of these you get behind one of these rifles, yeah. and they'll almost shoot themselves. If you can plant that thing, they're gonna go in the same hole. Like, we're we're really impressed, Chuck and I. Yeah, if you're shooting one for sure, like you're gonna buy one. Like that's yeah. what's gonna happen yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah. Big shout out to Patrice from KDEX and Rob yep. for uh, you know hooking us up with some superior equipment and I think uh, in this course when you've got a good equipment it just uh, it just uh, moves you a little bit farther ahead of uh, you know the the standard stuff out there. We, we got to mention also loophole and Ornity like yeah. loophole making like top tier optics like I mean that Mark 5 like uh, wow uh, scope we had like it's geez like it's so yeah. clear. It's, it's, you it's know what amazing. guys till you get behind a really good scope you don't know what it's about like I say Rob hooked us up with some real nice Leopold optics and Man, that's that's the that's the big part of the game right there is getting behind a really good optic. And, and you mentioned something uh, during the weekend, like uh, about buying optics. Like that's usually the first thing you, you have to do because most people like usually they'll, they'll buy a rifle and I buy the optic like with the amount of money like they have left. But you said no, that's not the way to do it. Like you buy your optic first and, and then you buy your rifle. You spend the most money on the optic. Yeah, I mean we talked about it in class, but. It's the, it's the habit we've all had where I buy the rifle first, then whatever money I got left over, I yep. get into an optic where you'll never optimize that rifle. Exactly. We've got our Kdex rifle in here. I mean, a rifle at that level deserves a high caliber scope. Definitely. So, you know, you sh if you're out there and you're looking at getting into this sport, your money should go into your optic, go onto your rifle. That's the way you should be, you should be doing it. Rob, thank hey. you so much. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate you. Rob, guys thanks, out. man. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You yeah, guys appreciate do it. Too. Yeah, you know, and like I say again, come out and shoot at uh, Furlong Marksmanship Academy. You'll learn stuff that you never even thought you would learn. No, there's. There it is. Hit. No, there's.